Hello and welcome to yet another YouTube video here on this channel. Today we are looking for good Notion alternatives for 2024 and we are covering some of the newer note-taking apps simply because there are a lot of people comparing note-taking apps that have been around for a long time but we are going to take a look at some of the newer ones and we are going to start off with an app called Tana. So Tana is an outliner app, which means that you can take bullet points as notes or they call them nodes. Everything inside of Tana is a node, but that's not the best part about Tana. Tana uses super tags, which basically makes databases. So I can write a bullet point anywhere in my Tana workspace and I can turn it into a database using the tags. Uh, so the only thing you have to do is to tag things properly and you can easily get a database like this or a calendar view like this or even a Kanban view. Where this app excels is the fact that it uh, is easy to capture things and it doesn't need a lot of organization because you can do something called live searches. So I could find notes with the tag book and get them as a list. And then I can uh, add filters or I can change the view to be a table or even cards, which is basically, uh, which is basically a Kanban view or a gallery view. So that's how this works. And it is a great looking app. It has a lot of cool features to it. I've covered some of them now, uh, but it excels at quick capturing and organization. Uh, and as I said, it is an outliner app. So if you want to take longer notes, this app probably isn't for you. The pricing on this isn't announced yet, but it will be around $100 each year, which is a price that a lot of note-taking apps take. Um, and it has backlinks as well, so you can link to different things inside of your workspace. So I could, uh, for example, link to Harry Potter using the at symbol. It is quite simple. It took me a long time to understand this app. It isn't that hard, but it took me a long time. The second thing is that it doesn't have a mobile app yet. Uh, it has a capture app where you can capture uh, notes on the go, but you can't actually see your entire workspace. And everything you capture comes into your inbox. And you have a daily page as well for those of you who like to use daily pages. The way I have been using this when I've used this is that I've just put everything inside of my daily page and created different databases which are pinned to the side here. That's basically how Tana works. The next app we have is Anytype, and Anytype is basically a blend between Notion and something like Obsidian. Open source, it stores all of your files locally as markdown files, and it has a beautiful graph view, probably the best graph view I have ever seen. This is the app I use to manage all of my social medias. So that's why I have a lot of notes inside of this app. It has databases which are basically sets or they are called sets and collections. Uh, a collection is a similar to database you would see inside of um, inside of Notion while a set is a search query just like the one I showed you inside of Tana. If you want to learn more about how Anytype works, I have a lot of different Anytype videos on my channel. I even have a playlist, so check that out. And I'm coming out with a new full tutorial on uh, Anytype quite soon. So if you haven't done so already, please do subscribe if you find these videos interesting. Uh, one more thing about Anytype is that it is object-based, so everything inside of 
uh, inside of any type is an object which takes a little while to get used to but as soon as you understand it it uh, it works perfectly and it fits my brain uh, very well uh, and you can have multiple workspaces it has a calendar view um, it has a calendar view and it has um, a regular database view and Kanban so you can choose how you want to view your databases. That's basically any type for you. There are of course many other things. It has a mobile app as well so if you want to look at your notes on the go and take notes on the go any type can do that for you and as i said most beautiful graph view uh, i have ever seen so that's any type the next app i have for you is called capacities it has backlinking it is object based just like uh, any type is uh, any type is free whereas this has a free plan but it also has a paid plan which comes in around ten dollars each month it has a mobile app in early access you get a calendar with a daily note page great for tasks for example and you get databases as well so you can add different filters to your databases and you can see them as a list a wall or a gallery view i love the gallery view and a table view as well so uh, when i have been testing out th this app i have mainly used table and gallery and inside of your table view uh, you get a bunch of different relations and you can add more relations if you want to this is probably the app that looks the best i think it looks really really beautiful and it has a graph view as well if you want to see how your different notes are connected so both this and any type has a graph view and capacities and any type is probably the two apps that are closest to notion a lot of great videos out on this app so i won't go in depth but you can uh you can check it out try it out for yourself uh it is it has a learning curve to it because it is an object-based note-taking app but as soon as you understand how object works inside of the note-taking space this becomes really easy to use and it is really really powerful so that's capacities. The next app I have is Affine or Affine. I will link it down below. I'm doing a tutorial or review video on this. They actually contacted me and uh, I am making a video. So it is coming uh, within this week or Monday next week. This is basically Notion with whiteboards. So if you're a more visual thinker and you want to uh, visualize your things inside of a whiteboard this is probably the best app out there for you no mobile app yet it is open source just like any type um, and the pricing on this is 7.99 each month if paid monthly and 6.75 each month paid yearly which isn't too bad considering a lot of note-taking apps take around ten dollars a month or hundred dollars each year uh, but i completely understand if you want to stick with the free plan you can get far with the free plan as well it is similar to something like notion with a freemium option where the only thing is the 10 uh, megabyte of cl cloud storage and the maximum file size and number of members per workspace but if you're just working by yourself if you're using this as a second brain you can get far with the free plan uh, so a more visual approach it has databases as well but no linked databases at least not yet i am guessing it will come because we need linked databases uh, overall great looking app uh, i love the fact that you can have mind maps inside of the same app that you have taken regular notes so you can turn your pages into a mind map which is really cool but more on this coming this week but if it looks 
if it looks interesting do check it out try out the free plan and i will do a um, review tutorial video on this quite soon the last app i have for you is called heptabase and heptabase is a little bit different this is more for visual thinkers it works with cards on an infinite canvas and you can actually link those cards together you can draw uh arrows or you can actually use backlinks and you can show all the different backlinks. I won't zoom into this because it is my private notes uh, but it has tasks as well as super tags just like Tana. It doesn't call it super tags but it is basically super tags so you can tag your cards and once you have tagged your cards you can create databases of those cards and it has a few different views with both uh, the table view and the Kanban view. I'm hoping for a calendar view quite soon, but it isn't announced yet at least. But I am waiting for a calendar view. Uh, and it is really simple to use. You just uh, create your account and start making cards and you can tag your different cards quite easily. This is great for contextualizing your thinking um, and overall a great option. It has a daily page as well, which Capacities and Talna also have. Great for managing your tasks and you can see all of the different backlinks to a specific card or a page. So that's basically Heptabase for you. Another app I have a few videos on, so do check those out. That's all of my favorite Notion alternatives for 2024. As I said, these are new note-taking apps. They will continue to develop. Uh, and thank you so, so much for watching today's video. If you have any questions, please do leave them down below and I will try to get to them as soon as I can. Thank you for watching. Give this video a like and I hope to see you again quite soon.